Notice anything different about the door? I took this mechanism out. Don't mind this behind me. You guys will see that very soon. I bought a master lock for the front door and I'll also be using a different lock to the inside. So you guys are gonna see all that today. Let's go. I don't know that this lock that I bought for the inside will work. So we're just kind of seeing in the row. so that I can pull it close. So the first time I did it, I put it on upside down and then I thought about just leaving it, but I was like, you know what? I better do it right. Be, do it right now so I don't have to redo it again. So essentially, um, 
I'll cut these down once I have it right. But you close it, throw the master lock on there, lock it, boom. Uh, this is a lock that I see in a lot of ProMaster van builds and this was always my plan from day one and before I actually bought this I tried really really hard to find a cheaper way to find a lock for the outside. In reality I could probably figure out a cheaper way to do this but this uh, this lock is about $40 around $40 ish and it's really not too expensive but it's one of the best locks i think in my opinion for basically protecting your stuff um, if someone really wants to break in they're going to break your windows and they'll find a way in so just always make sure you have protection but this is my lock protection i guess if you will for the outside so because my doors don't really stay flat um, when I had the mechanism that closed them these were the the doors were really loose like you could see outside on the bottom so this will actually push them in a little bit and kind of act as stabilization I guess like it it'll push them closer together so there's not so much airflow going on it's not so loose so that's what we're gonna have for the outside of the door now for the inside I thought I could use the one lock that I had shown earlier but the thing is I don't know that I'll be able to because of these so I'm gonna grind the bolt off you know what let's just do that right now Yeah, so this is not gonna work, this mechanism, unfortunately. Um, I might be able to put wood, bolt wood to the door and do it that way. But if I'm gonna go and do a bunch of wood, I don't know, I have a, a different idea, more of like one of those mechanisms that has a little latch like this and goes like that and latches. So I think I might do that, if you know what I mean. And then if that's the case, I'll figure out where to put the handle later on. But as of right now, that is how I'm going to lock the outside of the door. So what I used is the master lock uh, Magnum and it comes with the lock and the two little latches and then of course you got to buy your own bolts i bought a quarter size bolt and i use two washers and then the back, the back of the bolt uh these things so at least i got the outside done and we'll figure out something for the inside if you guys have any ideas feel free to comment them down below and i'll get to that pretty darn soon but as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. That's it for building for now. I have all this stuff to do behind me, but Isaac and I are hitting the road in the busty build now that it's finished, and we're going to make sure that uh, it doesn't have any kinks that need to be worked out. Then that bus is going to be for sale, and once we get back, this bus will be finished within about a month or so. So if you guys want to keep up with the this bus build, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And then also if you just like bus life adventures and bus life in general, van life, it's all the same thing. Feel free to subscribe and we will see you on the road. We'll be gone for about two weeks. We are doing the Seven Wonders of Oregon. So that'll be a really cool trip. I'm excited. Um, I've never really been outside of the Eugene area in general. So I'm really looking forward to it. So I'll see you guys there.